Uh, we're looking at a couple of new Evos. Um, these are sort of high-end, utility-focused uh, audio interfaces, right? Absolutely. We've got one audio interface and one standalone mic preamp. Lots of I/O and great for guys that might have huge collections of synths. So I'm going to take you through both units separately. So first of all, we have the Evo 16. This is a 24-in, 24-out audio interface. It has eight Evo mic preamps on board. Now these are digitally controlled analog mic preamps. And the reason that's important is it allows us to do some really, really cool things. So to start with the obvious big green button, that's what we like to call smart gain. So this is an algorithm that analyzes your peaks of your signals coming in and aims to set the gain appropriately in under 20 seconds. This works across all eight channels simultaneously. So let's say you have um, a drum kit or you might have a load of stereo analog synths, for example. You can uh, press, press the button, start performing, and it will analyze your signal and set the gain appropriately. Right, handy. You're not forced to use that if you don't want to. So if you're professional, you might just want to use it as a starting point so you're not spending a lot of time doing the iterative process of setting gain. Um, or you might, you might just want to use it to save time when you're in the studio. So the other thing that allows us to do is it allows us to sequentially pair channels together. So one and two can be paired together, three and four. So when they're paired together, a little link comes up here, but you can see as I, as I change the gain for channel one, it's also changing the gain for channel two. Right. So That's any handy. stereo sources coming in, like again, like a synth or like overheads on a drum or a top and bottom snare mic, uh, you can perfectly level match them. So really good for avoiding any stereo imaging issues, but just making sure your levels are correct. Uh, and that works again on all eight channels. So there's independent phantom power for every channel. This is true phantom power per channel. Um, and to draw your attention to the screen here, one of the other really cool features on this product is something we call Motion UI. So we wanted to make sure we utilize the screen real estate to actually show you and give you visual feedback of what's happening in your workflow. So for example, I can come into channel one here, I can see the exact gain level, I can dial it in right down to the decibel, and then I can move away to the next channel and the screen will change. So you're always getting visual feedback. For example, if I hit channel four and I want to turn phantom power on, you get our little Gerald the phantom come up to tell you. Oh, it's you. like one of the Pac-Man ghosts. Uh, it is, absolutely. <laughs> it's a phantom though, not a ghost. <laughs> but like, if I turn it off again, I'm just getting that real time visual feedback. So you're not, what we were trying to do is make sure our customers avoid having to- Avoid the control panels. Go into like. control panels, dive through countless menus and figure out what's going on. And it's always something simple like, I've muted a channel, or for example. Speaking of muting a channel, you can hold down any channel and as you can see, mute, mute comes on. I do the same thing, mute comes off. But let's say I do that, navigate away and I'm doing a load of other stuff over here. I come back to the channel and it still lets me know that mute is activated. So I'm yeah. not having to spend, it's just a workflow thing. It's just trying to speed up your workflow all, all times. I mean, there's sort of almost, we're, we're getting into almost like channel stripped, uh, 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 yeah. console sort of territory. Yeah, absolutely, which is where you know our brand was established and workflow is a really, really key and important part of all our product design. Again, coming back to the screen, you can cycle through your inputs, your digital inputs, um, and even your outputs. The F key here, what this allows you to do is a function key is assign multiple uh, monitoring functionality to this button and you can customize it yourself. So at the moment it's talkback, but you can have mono, uh, alternative speakers, polarity so reverse. Not yeah, just to give you real hardware control of one of those features that you might use a lot. So switching to the back panel, you can see the six combi jack preamps here. So they all take both the XLR and line inputs. We also, we have the two on the front, of course. We also have eight line outputs and we have two sets of digital of uh, ADAT inputs and outputs. So this allows you to expand the unit up to 24 channels with two external eight channels down below my preamps. Right. Uh, the Evo 16 is 449. It's incredibly competitive for how many features you're getting. Uh, and it, it's been out for a while and it's been incredibly popular. 
And the reason we think that is, is not only the workflow, but the audio performance on this product is staggering. So are people are using them just for live input straight into their mono system as well? Absolutely, people are using it uh, for drum kits, they're using it for uh, their home home recording gigs. And, and I'm, one thing I should mention is the form factor. So although you can see the rack is here, they're optional. You can actually see the unit here comes with feet and is, this, is 16 inches wide, so the side of a laptop. And right. that's by design. You can put your laptop on top, and again, going back to talking about Motion UI, everything's happening on the screen in front of you instead of being over here in a rack where you can't see what's going on. Yeah. So that is all by design. For location, makes yeah. sense. So then just last two few things, we have a word clock out to make sure that you get solid clocking. It's USB-C obviously the power supply, and then we have two independent headphone amps also, so one for you as an engineer and one for your artist. Uh, and then what you can't see here is the software mixer that comes with this product, allows you to set up multiple key mixes for direct monitoring. So you can route ins to outs and outs, yeah, all that kind Absolutely, of stuff. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. Uh, so that's Evo 16. What we're excited to talk about this year is we've sort of expanded this range with a standalone mic preamp. This is the Evo SPA. And to save me going the, all the way through it, it's fundamentally exactly the same product. It's just not an audio interface, so it doesn't have the USB connectivity or monitoring capability. Right. This is a standalone eight-channel smart preamp with AD and DA converters. So, any providing your existing audio interface has an ADAT uh, has ADAT capability. You can just you can, hang it off the back of yeah, that. Yeah. This is a really affordable way to expand your existing setup and get eight really high. Uh, level of uh, audio quality channels into your existing setup without having to rip everything up and start again. So uh, again, Smart Gain works on all eight channels, but and you can you can benefit from all the same things even if you have a, another uh, third-party existing audio interface. But if you pair Evo SP8 with an Evo 16, let's say you pair even two SP8s with Evo 16. You can get 24 channels all using Smart Gain at the exact same time, which right. is crazy. So, for example, let's say you've got a small orchestra or an entire an entire the live band. Yeah. You could literally say, right, everyone play, set your channels, press the button in less than 20 seconds, all your gain is done. And then you can just simply adjust to taste afterwards. So, again, we like to say no one gets medals for setting gain. It's an important, very important part, but it can be time consuming, especially yeah. when you're working on big channels. So all we're trying to do is keep people in the creative app, uh, workflow. And Does make it them. have the, I wasn't excited, as excited during the sound check as I'm going to be during the gig model built into the, uh, into the way it assesses the peaks? Yeah, so the way it assesses the peaks, it is, it's aiming for around minus 12 dB to leave you enough headroom to prevent clipping. But that's the whole purpose of it, it's just to, just to get you started and make sure you're not clipping your inputs and destructively uh, recording faults. But if you want to run it hot, you can run it hot. It's, it's up to you. So um, how much is the SP8 then? So the SP8 is 399. So this is where it's a seriously competitive um, setup for you. You could have 24 channels for about 1,200 pounds. What's the, uh, what's, the, what's the sample rate max it works at? Is it Sorry, I couldn't hear you. What's the sample rate and bit depth it works yeah, at? Yeah, so these are 24 bit, 96 kilohertz. Right, okay. Yeah. So yeah, that's Evo SP8, and it's now shipping, and we're very excited about it. So make sure you check it out. Thank you very much, Andrew.